Hey everyone, before we have discussed how to make your own music channel on YouTube and today we will be talking about one content that all of you should be doing. I'm pertaining guys to a music video so guys before we talk about it, you know what to do. Like, subscribe and gong that bell. Hey guys, my name is Nolden. Welcome to Freedom Central, the home of all freedom content. As I said a while ago, we will be talking about music videos and on this episode, we will be talking about the things that you will need to know before you do your live shooting and other things that you can improve on on your music video. So guys, without any more further ado, let's go into the episode of Freedom Quick Tips. Number one, choose the best song for you and your brand. Think of a good song that you can recreate and recycle the content. What do I mean by this? Pick a song that is widely known by everyone, then make content on that. Your first content should be relatable so that the people can join in in the music video. Or maybe pick up the latest song and make a music video about it. But always take in mind that you have to pick the best song that you and your bandmates will like. Start out small. When we say starting out small, we say that you start with equipment that you have and also make your videos in the shortest time as possible. Because if you start to ramp up that 10 hour production, chances are guys, you will lose focus and lose the luster of the project, which makes you abandon the project entirely. Pick a song that inspires you and the band. If you pick a song only for kicks, chances are you will finish the song, but you will not be invested in the project. You will love the project and you will be giving your 100% subconsciously. Remember copyright. When you do cover songs, you might need to think about copyright costs. If you have the license to monetize and replicate it, that's good. But if you do not, you can argue for fair use, but it's not a guarantee though. So Always be careful when you are making cover videos. Number two is getting the crew and the equipment. You gotta prepare for your equipment and your crew. If you're going to shoot a proper music video with a full cast and all, you have to factor in the talents and of course your film needs. You have to take into consideration the cost of these things because it is part of your pre-production process. During this phase, you will have to factor in your expenses because if you cannot, chances are the project will fall or fail. And we don't want that. Your project must be in your budget so that when it comes to the day of your shooting, you will not have any setbacks when it comes to the essentials. Number three, planning before the shoot. Now we have the equipment and the talents in check, you have to think about the storyboard and other things that are essential to the shoot. When we say storyboard, this is the actual illustration of the real life footage you will be gathering. And of course, the storyboard envisions the whole video. This will help you get a firm grasp of the whole picture. In the storyboard that you will be creating, you will see the things that you will need. The actions, the settings, and everything that comprises the whole scene. Once you have it all, you can efficiently direct people under your care, and of course, place essential graphics and texts on the video. This is really important, especially in films, TV, and theater. It's good practice so that you can get your ideas across to your audience. So always make a storyboard first when you are making videos. Number four is filming. As we were discussing about the storyboard, this time you have to execute your shoots effectively. It all boils down to this moment. Get the live shoots you envision in the script to make it effective in terms of effort and time management. Without a proper script or storyboard, it will take forever. And you don't want that. Number five, things to avoid excessively. One of those things is excessive zooms. But if you do so much zooming, it may often look cliche or most of the time it will look unusable. And number two is excessive special effects. Effects are so cool, especially if you could make a great wormhole converging in the video, then from the wormhole, monsters come out. <laughs> it would be really good in the video, but I digress. If you put too much effect on the video, it may be distracting and overwhelming that it moves away from the message of your music video. Remember, the thing that you need to focus on is the actual video, not the effects. Number three is sound effects. Sometimes when you put sound effects on your music video, it can make it even more interesting. It adds a certain dramatic feel which everyone would love to see. I would love to see that. Who would it? And that's the episode of Freedom. Do you have other tips for us about music videos? Let us know down below. Also, if you guys know someone who wants to make a music video but don't know where to start, you can always share this to them so you can help them out. Before you leave, guys, please leave a like, subscribe, and gong that bell. My name is Nold guys, bringing you tips on how to grow your channel. Always remember freedom. Quick tips. I'm going to be seeing you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.